NHS to set up National Artificial Intelligence Lab, says the BBC. Apparently they're going to be spending £250 million on boosting the role of AI within the health service. The advanced computer software is already showing its potential to revolutionise medicine in fields ranging from diagnosing patients, gleaning new insights into diseases and improving how hospitals run. Artificial intelligences thrive when an algorithm can learn from huge amounts of data to spot patterns. Medical imaging, where an AI can be trained on thousands of scans, has led the charge. Clinical trials have proven AIs are as good as leading doctors at spotting lung cancer, skin cancer and more than 50 eye conditions from scans. I mean, this could be really great if artificial intelligence can do things like that much faster and more efficiently than a human could. That frees up doctors to focus on other things. However, the more cynical side of my brain is thinking, what if artificial intelligence completely takes over most of the jobs in hospitals and then it puts humans out of work? I think eventually we might need to go towards some kind of universal basic income system because if a lot of the important jobs that humans currently do are replaced by artificial intelligence, you know, we can't have most of the population just out of work, replaced by technology and just having no money at all. So we might need to go towards something like that. But also, it's worth remembering that in May 2017, the NHS was hit by a large-scale cyber attack that disrupted hospital and GP appointments. And so this raises a really important question here about what happens if we get to a point where we're relying so much on artificial intelligence and technology in general, but then hackers are able to disrupt that with cyber attacks. I mean, imagine if artificial intelligence is analysing all these scans and things like that and deciding what is the best course of action for patients. Then a hacker could hack into that and change what the AI is going to decide to do. So then you could end up with people having the wrong limbs chopped off or something like that. You know, if a hacker really wanted to do something evil, that would probably be possible. I mean, take a look at this article on Technopedia. Are hackers using AI for malicious intentions? Researchers are already showing how neural networks can be tricked into thinking a picture of a turtle is actually a picture of a rifle, and how a simple sticker on a stop sign can cause an autonomous car to drive straight into an intersection. This kind of manipulation is not only possible after AI is deployed, but when it is being trained as well, potentially giving hackers the ability to wreak all kinds of havoc without having to touch the client enterprise's infrastructure. We need to make sure that artificial intelligence is programmed with the right data and set up with the right values so that it serves us rather than works against us. I mean, one kind of funny but terrifying possible scenario would be if you gave artificial intelligence the goal of totally eradicating HIV. Now, if that artificial intelligence didn't properly value human life, it might determine that the most efficient way to eradicate HIV completely would be to kill all humans that have HIV and that would be a decision that no sane human would make but an artificially intelligent system not given the right values might make that decision. I remember Sam Harris saying a similar thing recently where he said if AI was given the goal of totally eradicating spam emails it might then determine that the cause of all spam emails is humans so therefore the solution might be to kill all humans. Obviously, this kind of scenario is probably unlikely to happen, but it's just interesting to think about these things, what the possibilities are. I mean, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next?